This is new. I'm officially studying to come. A full year. to do. There is just so much to do. new and exciting hey you guys welcome back to the vlog welcome back to another week at Renaissance. it's been a minute and by a minute i mean a year if you're new here my name is victoria and i'm the founder and formulator of my luxury bath and body care brand Renaissance. and what's new around here is that i'm officially studying to become a certified cosmetic chemist there's a lot going on there's a lot that i need to catch up on and i will it's literally been a year. But first, I need to package up an order, so I'm gonna do that first, and then we're gonna sit and chat. This customer got an eight ounce black amber and lavender cream, which is such a gorgeous mix of amber and vanilla. There's also notes of black myrrh and Egyptian musk, but I always say that this one smells like a hug. They also ordered a four ounce dark pomegranate cream, which is my favorite scent this week. It changes with the mood, but this one is sultry. Think date night. It has citrus, musk, and sandalwood notes, and just enough vanilla. Alright, let's talk. For you guys, it's only been a week, but for me, it has been a full year since I have picked up this camera and talked to you. So, hey, long time no see, you just don't know it. In terms of the business, the studio, you guys haven't missed too much. It's kind of been business as usual over here. I got stocked in a few more local vendors nearby me, and I've been doing markets, 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 markets all the time. I'm actually feeling like I'm a pro at them now. I have my setup and takedown process just down pat. But it is now January and I have a good break in market season until March 1st. It's actually my first day back at it. But in the meantime, and like I mentioned earlier, I'm officially studying to become a cosmetic chemist. It is a year-long course through the Institute of Personal Care Science based out of Australia, and I'm really excited, guys. So when I first started making products, it wasn't even for Renaissance. It was totally just for myself. 
uh, mainly as a way for me to incentivize myself into having a self-care routine. My mental health wasn't doing great and that presented itself mainly through the way that I took care of myself. So initially this was for me. From there it turned into how can I make products that help with eczema, psoriasis, just extra dry skin during the winter, which with that came learning how to make emulsions and lotions and creams and things like that. So I did my homework and I went to basically online forums, shorter online courses that I could take. I found a few YouTube channels and I'll link some people down in the description, but um, Tara Lee, I think Dawn at Sunshine Soap and Candle Company, amazing channels. I've learned so much from both of them and they really got me over that learner's hump that was really scary at first. I just thought, okay, I'll just stick to body butters and things that are very simple for the most part. Adding preservatives and different actives and all that kind of stuff, I would have never felt comfortable even going there without those two channels in particular. Um, but I will list some others in the description for you guys that were really, really helpful for me. That being said, everything that I know up until this point has basically been self-taught. Um, self-taught and then taught by free resources that I can find online. So I'm doing my vision board on my goals for this year. And one of the major things that I have a lot of big plans for an essential. <laughs> I have a lot of big plans and I have a lot of different ways that I want to expand my business. And expanding my knowledge is definitely first step of that. I want to learn everything there is to know about natural ingredients, synthetic ingredients, so I can better talk about both of them. <laughs> So like I said earlier, I'm on a one year study plan and by the end of it, I'll know everything there is to know about natural and synthetic product formulation for hair, hands, body, and face. There are entire sections dedicated to learning about GMP, good manufacturing practices, uh, stability testing, and cosmetic ingredient compliance for different countries. So like I said, it's loaded. There's tons of information and it's going to be a doozy. <laughs> I'll have assessments. There are practical lab samples that I'll have to create and send to them for them to actually grade. And there's even a final exam that I'll have to take and pass. And all of that is in order to get my certification. So my nine to five plus Red Essential plus the course, there's a lot going on. Here's how I'm managing my schedule or trying to. Like you guys saw this morning, I'm getting up pretty early and I'm using that morning brain power to study. So nothing, maybe a few run essential admin tasks that come through, but for the most part, that's for studying. Then I work kind of like a nine to 5.30 schedule-ish. So I'll use my lunch to study. And then at the end of the day, log off and get some things done for an essential, whether it is product making or fulfilling orders, anything like that wind down, do my own little routine throughout the night, and then I'll finish out the day with studying as well. I know some of this will definitely vary. It kind of depends on what's going on and what my assessments are requiring me to do. Some days I'll actually need to watch a lecture and I'm taking notes. Um, I could be studying for an assessment that's coming up or actually working on a practical sample that I need to submit. So each day will be different, but this is kind of the basic schedule that I've been working from that I'll kind of use as my baseline. So where am I with the course now? I'm about halfway through with the beginners workshop series, uh, which is kind of the pre course that they have you do while your practical kit is in the mail and on its way to you. Full circle. It always comes full circle. This kit basically has all the ingredients and materials that I'll need to create all of the examples that we're working through during lectures practical samples that I'll need for my assessments and then my final exam as well. There's a lot of new ingredients in there that I'm really excited to work with. Um, so yeah, my goal for the rest of this week is to finish up with the beginner's workshop. I have about four more lectures to watch. Um, so I'm going to do that over today, tomorrow, and probably over the weekend. And that way I can go ahead and let them know and they'll clear me to get started with the full course. So right now I'm going to unload my practical kit and see all the materials that they've sent me, review some notes from the modules I've already gone through, and then get started with some of my lab samples. This 
is everything. And when I tell you, I'm so excited to start working with all these ingredients. There's even a product here that we're going to reverse engineer. Uh, so they sent me an already created product that I need to recreate later on. This is awesome. <laughs> me very happy Say hi to the vlog. <laughs> vlog, I'm eating a granola bar. <laughs> Important information. <laughs> Today I'm getting into the good stuff. Again, I'm still on that beginner's module. So these formulas are really, really simple. I've actually made most of these products before just using different ingredients. So it's fun to be working with some new materials and I'm starting with a hydrating facial mist. will see I'm not gonna be as strict with myself about my hair or wearing gloves during any of these lab samples that I'm making um, again these are just for me they're just for education so I'm just not as worried as I would be if I were actually selling these <music>
And that's actually where I'm gonna wrap up this week's vlog. Thank you again for coming back. I mean, for you, it's been a week. For me, it's been two years. So thank you for coming back. I wanted to give you guys an update on where I've been and what's been new around here at Ren Essential. So stay tuned. I have a lot more coming for you guys. Next video is actually going to be me going through all of the different decor items and materials that I bring with me to markets to make the booth look beautiful. And if there's anything else that you'd like to see, just let me know in the comments below. But if you like this video, please leave me a like, a comment, and subscribe if you're not already, and share. Share with a friend, don't be greedy. I'll see you next week.